<laughs> this comeback i would say our, our opponent had a crazy comeback and then we had a crazy comeback it's just like a chain of comebacks man does he have double ysera awakens no way oh my god he actually had double ysera awakens chat <laughs> this game is so stupid hey buddy watch this i think waste warden would be a bit of a greedy keep right now because we don't know for sure that he spell druid or not which the waste warden's really there for spell druid in particular so let's move on to um Maybe something a little bit more proactive. This still gives us a little bit of a spell druid answer with Moarg, right? I have no idea what to anticipate, though. I just, we need an, I mean, it wasn't strength in numbers, so that's probably a good sign already. Breath of Dreams doesn't really tell us too much yet. They did have a dragon in hand, so that's handy to know. I don't want to play the Moarg for no reason. Throw back expensive cards, Kek W. Overgrowth, oh my god, this curve. <laughs> Good lord. <laughs> oh, I'm so unhappy to see that curve. Are you serious? Oh my god. Ah! <laughs> oh my god. Just drop a Kael'thas real quick, no big deal. We must stop Emerald Explorer. Okay, so we're looking at a big druid. Unfortunately, not... Spell Druid, so they did not choose Spell Druid, which makes a few of our cards a little bit weak, unfortunately. Um, <clears throat> and I don't really have any reactiveness to this right now either. Uh, we could drop a Moarg, but we don't have any way to utilize the Moarg, so that's kind of stranded. I don't think there's any advantage to softening this up with a Holy Nova right now. We could use Coin on the Kartut next turn. We also might be able to renew our face next turn. Well, nothing to do. Oh, that ramp, dude. I'm not feeling good about this game. <laughs> not feeling good about this ramp. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. It's all, He's already at eight mana, and I'm coming into five. Good Lord. Uh, Targeted spell. Iron Bark, maybe? Which is not that scary. Oh, Germination. Oh, my God. And another overgrowth. <laughs> good Lord. <laughs> So we could go Moarg into Penance. Um, I actually don't think this is a particularly high pressure board state. Um, we have a Soul Mirror for next turn, which could get me a couple taunts to help soften these up. I think we're actually just gonna renew for now and see what we find. Uh, we're at 10 cards, so we may need to burn something after if we don't wanna burn a card here, but we can maybe get something playable as well. So let's just see what we find. Thought Steel, Dark Prophecy gives me a proactive play right now, which is pretty nice. Okay. Um, Imprisoned Vile Fiend does give me something, but it's super delayed. And I don't think three attack is a break point that really matters much to us. I think we're just going to take the Spitting Camel now to give something to interact with our opponent. It's the very worst case scenario. Could maybe soften them up for a Holy Nova or a Penance down the road, right? It's actually not too bad. All right, Plague of Death would have been great to see for later. Yeah, I would have loved to Plague of Death. Oh my God, and Big Ed too. I bring oh my God. <laughs> this is so brutal. So I do think Coin Soul Beer here actually gives us a decent play. Um, we could die to Rush minions in the um, Coin Soul Mirror world, but certainly I don't think Moar Holy Nova does enough. Moark Penance doesn't really contest the Alex. So I think it has to be the coin soul mirror to clear the Alex, get us a couple taunts. Um, I think that's the best we can do. We could try to go convince a Gibble Trader, but it's just not enough stats right now. And we can't play like Grave Rune on it or anything. So. Is there any reason ever to take a preemptive attack here? I don't see why, because he just trade that one in anyway. So we need to dodge. Um, Oh my god, I forgot about the spitting camel dealing damage. <laughs> it shouldn't matter too much, really, but still pretty scary. <clears throat> we can't actually regain a lot of life with Moarg Penance. Um, that's a rush minion, so he hits for four, five here. Hits for five here. That puts us down to two. Moarg Holy Nova does clear the board and heal me back to four. <clears throat> Apotheosis Penance also gets me a lot of life here and clears. Yeah, I think that's the play. Apotheosis Penance looks really good. 
we're probably not dead. We can hero power as well. I don't think I don't think we play the Moar, do we? Maybe we do actually just to gain more life, or do we save it? I think we save it. I think we have enough life against Druid, right? Druid is not typically known for having a lot of burst damage. So this should be okay. Because we're back up to 11, and we have the board advantage. Okay. Man, we actually navigated that pretty successfully, I'd say. Now we're moving into convincing infiltrator grave rune territory soon. We still have the Kartut and Skeletal Dragon to help us build out a taunt board. Um, ooh, that's a bit of a pain, isn't it? Yikes. I think we can probably play Skeletal Dragon into that okay. Just to keep on curve. Certainly not forbidden wordsing or anything. Uh, do we like Kartut hero power just for the curve consideration better? It does put that down to two, which is pretty nice for Holy Nova later. That's pretty handy. Okay. Great. I like this. All right. We got through the Alex Straza craziness. That makes me feel pretty good. What's the A drop off Marsh Hydra? I don't know. That's going to be a little bit tougher to figure out. Super fancy portrait. We do have a pretty fancy portrait. I'm feeling quite fabulous today. <laughs> Oh boy. Okay, so Skeletal Dragon Hero Power, we have Convincing Infiltrator Grave Rune, which is pretty cool, because I mean this should give us enough life to like work with for a while, right? Um I am a little bit worried about some big threats still. My Ev. Oh my Ev. Oh no. Oh boy. Man, I was really counting on that health. I think I'm just dead if he has swipe. Double Holy Nova doesn't do it either, right? More Holy Nova doesn't get me there, guys. It leaves two, It leaves this up. I can't do double Holy Nova. I think I'm just dead to swipe. I can't play double Holies. I'm only at nine mana. If we could go more double Holy, that'd be great. But that's ten mana. So I think we're just dead to swipe here. Don't have swipe. 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 It is lethal if he has it. That does not read swipe. Don't have swipe. Don't have swipe. <laughs> Don't have swipe. Don't have swipe. <laughs> it's apparently not swipe. I mean, I think Dodd would have spotted the lethal swipe by now. Zoraku! Oh my. Um... And Scrapyard Colossus, good lord. This might be a master spell, right? Um, wow. I really, really need Plague of Death, dude. Like, really need Plague of Death. Breath. Uh, Moar, double Holy Nova, deals eight to the board. God, I don't know, man. This is tough. This deals eight, which isn't really great breakpoints. Let's let's start with a master spell so that Zoraku and that um, dude don't affect us as much, right? Do what we find. Could really change things. Um, renew. Shadow Word Ruin. Yeah, that's pretty good. Um. All right. Woo! Good God. So nervous, man. <laughs> I'm so nervous. <laughs> oh, man. I really like preserving these. I think some people are saying we should have gone for the double Nova there, but I liked preserving our convincings as long as we can, right? We kind of got an extra kill out of it, I think. This guy's pretty tough to kill, except for the Ruin off the top. We do just go Ruin trade here, right? Do we heal the minion or heal face? We heal the minion is the hero power. Yeah. Is this an early ruin is the question, right? We got actually just Holy Nova after. I think we have to ruin this. Like, I don't think there's a choice there, but I'd really like to play this guy. Um, do we utilize the Holy Nova or not? I, I think with Moarg, it's so good is the challenge, but we have... We have... Um, we have that anyway, so let's do this. Just gets us a little bit more health. Protects the front half of this minion, which is really nice. Now, how many threats does our opponent have left, right? Still quite a few threats. I need to get a little bit more ahead on board with, like, a Skeletal Dragon or something. 
I can't keep reacting forever. I need to turn the corner at some point. And we don't have as much value in this list because we cut Galakron because I was anticipating Spell Druid. Oh my god. Ugh. Okay. Waste Warden actually could come in handy later. Do we ever just hero power Forbidden Words this and go face? Could just leave this really and play the Skeletal Dragon. I don't think we have a lot of urgency, so let's just um just hold here in your power. I need to start building out my own board a little bit. I need to find my Plague of Death soon. Bronze Herald's fine, I guess. Just fine. Forbidden Word, the uh, Winged Guardian. No, you can't. It can't be targeted. So you gotta hold this for something that can be targeted, right? Woo! Frizz? Big, big old Frizz. <laughs> Jeez. And Mishafin. Good God, there's so much value crammed into this deck. I don't know if we're equipped for this, man. Skeletal Dragon again. Uh, this is not a bad Moarg Holy Nova for four. Breath for eight. It's not really that good, though. Could trade here. It's like, I kind of hate to use that Moarg already on all this stuff. But I just don't have great choices beyond that, right? We could trade into Arch Spore, but we leave the Skeletal Dragon a little bit exposed. Um, could just Hero Power Forbidden Words the Frizz trade over here. Still leaves the Skeletal Dragon a little bit exposed. I think we might just try to clear this. And get really ahead on board, right? And once we're ahead on board, should be a little bit better off, I think. Um... We do kind of lose our ability to react to big Ysera boards, but uh, I think that's okay. Because we just win the board really hard. Ooh, our own Ysera, that's nice. I have time to play it anyway. God, okay. We may just forbidden words that if it's the only threat he plays. This is my nightmare scenario, though. No, I need time to think, bro. I'm not a pro player. Don't give me that story, dude. I can't handle this. I need time to think. Um. No. Kind of hate this, but. I kind of hate leaving this 9-9 up, but... Ooh, Alex is fun. I don't know how to kill this. This is going to be a lot of chunks. Like, I need a lot of bodies here. I need a penance or something. To... Oh, wow. That's a problem. Oh, shoot. Mass res is probably our best bet, but boy, do we have some weak units in there. We have Moarg... We do have a lot of convincing infiltrators, though. Um, yeah, I think we can just go mass res. I mean, certainly Ysera is a little risky. It leaves leaves us at eight functionally from a health standpoint, and I mean, we can't even really trade into the board that well. So, thanks, Kells, for the kind words, man. Love your YouTube vids. I, I love you, dude. Yeah, I think we have to mass res. Man, he built this deck with so much greedy value against Priest. I respect the, the, the matchup. I mean, it's a good decision for sure. I need convincing infiltrators off of this primarily. Um, we have some good minions. It's really just the Moarg that's bad. So, yeah, that's actually a great roll, man. We got a nice big dragon value taunt play. Ooh, <gasps> this is active. <laughs> Let's go. We got the convincing to help trade into these nasty boys. Clear some of these nasty boys. Um, I dream Ysera is gross again, though. Good God, Ysera is so gross, man. Don't hit the 9-1. Oh, he's actually going to leave up the convincing? No way. Does he leave up the convincing for the grave rune? Wow. I'm really sad I don't have Psyche split here now. Oh my god. I don't think I need the Plague of Death, right? Since we have the Grave Rune. I think I can just go for the trade here. Um, we're back to full health, so health is definitely not a concern. Um, he's already seen the one Grave Rune. I'm shocked that he, he did not value this more. 
Uh, I just wish I had more to do after this. I'm going to just end up playing like a Bronze Herald and Hero Pairing because I don't think Waste Warden has a lot of value, which it's never going to have a lot of value for us, unfortunately. So this Death Turtle goes off first, right? I hope we kill Ysera, though. Ysera is a big value generator. I think this went off first, though, so that this could die. Oh, there's only one. What am I saying? I was thinking there's two for some reason. Regardless, we didn't kill Ysera, so that's sad. Um, we're still set up to kill Ysera next turn, which is nice. And we have the Plague of Death now to answer, like, the crazy Ysera Unleashed board, uh, which would be the real dream. Okay. <laughs> just, every game is going to be like this, by the way. Well, I don't know, though. He hit crazy ramp this game. If we can dodge that crazy ramp, we're going to have a better chance of getting out ahead early. Um, also, if he just doesn't have a good turn ever, I can start to swing it back with Dragon Queen Alexstrasza into an Alexstrasza for maybe a lethal out, right? Bum, 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 bum. You see having six health here actually almost helps me a little bit because um, I can trade in my convincing and kill off the Ysera. Otherwise, it might have been hard to kill the second convincing if the 7-7 seven, seven here doesn't kill Ysera itself. I, I, if I'm him, I don't think I trade here, right? I think you wait because you get that extra Ysera card and it might be a big minion or a Ysera Awakens or something for a lot of value. <laughs> he just forced to play priest. <laughs> yeah, that's how it feels sometimes, man. Um, okay, that's nasty as well. Is this a Plague of Death board? I don't think so, since we have the Convincing Infiltrators, right? I think we can get away with this. Oh, maybe just Master Rams after trading these in? Just really win the board hard? I could also use this as a potentially Ysera turn. It's also a possibility. Um, okay, so I think we, we attack here first. Because... Actually, putting this to five has some value, right? Because these deal five. So maybe we attack here first, put this to five. Hopefully, it doesn't kill the 7-7 seven, seven itself. Hopefully, it kills one of these two. Perfect. Okay. And now, I think we just trade in and kill this down to a 6-1. I can't easily deal with a 6-1, but I think I can play the Dragon Queen Alex and just leave a 6-1 on board and not be that upset, right? I think we're quite content. We go to seven cards. This actually puts me at nine. Alex will have room basically still. That's good. Okay. The six one certainly not something we're we're high we're we're highly worried about and concerned about right now. Oh my god, he got a lot of dragons this turn. Jeez, pretty bad dragons, though. That's good news. So we have a lethal setup here with Alex. Um, I, Druid can't react to this very well. I mean, maybe if he has, like, double Ysera Awakens or something, that's about the only way I think he'd be able to handle this well. I mean, Dream you don't feel good about because you don't want to Dream Murzon and you don't want to Dream Dragon Queen Alex. You can't Dream the Wing Guardian, so... That Murzon, dude... <laughs> That freaking Murzon, man. This game, yeah, this game is bananas. It's a back and forth swing every step of the way, man. <laughs> this comeback, I would say our, our opponent had a crazy comeback and then we had a crazy comeback. It's just like a chain of comebacks, man. Does he have double Ysera Awakens? No way. Oh my God, he actually had double Ysera Awakens chat. <laughs> Game is so stupid. I think we have to go Mass Res over Ysera Unleashed, right? Mass Res just gets us more total bodies here um, to contest that 9 9 and stuff. I, I cannot believe he had double Ysera Awakens, man. Ooh, that's a good roll. Okay. Double convincing and Alex to present pressure. But we don't have as many lethal outs now because, you know, we, we don't have as much of a board. He's at 11, basically. And I don't have any direct damage in my deck. So Waste Warden cannot go face, unfortunately. Um,. Sadly, he has pretty good bronze dragon there to maybe eat a convincing, but we got lucky. Whew. Get lucky again, man. Get lucky again. Come on. Yes. Oh my God. <laughs> um, so I think we just play. We don't have lethal, right? This can't go face. Um, we don't want to Alex, of course. Um, I think we want to go as wide as we can, but does that mean... I think we have to play Ysera because we only have six cards, right? 
I think we have to play Ysera because we only have six cards. So let's just play Ysera, go face, and um, Ysera itself represents a lethal push, and then, you know, we're going to be likely to draw the dragons like every other turn, basically. So I think this is the this is the move. Um, this feels like we're in a good spot. I mean, we're at 20, so we're not worried about... Uh, so we have like a 50-50 to draw a dragon every turn now. Draw a portal every turn. Okay. He has to kill both of these units or play a big enough taunt, of course. But at this stage, you know, I could maybe just play Gadeth any crazy board and just count on the dragon rolls to get me out. I hope. I have emergency healing with Alex. I have... Oh my god. Mischief and Prime is actually nuts, dude. Oh my god. Um, do we have any kind of lethals? Breath of the Infinite doesn't do it. I don't see a lethal, right? I think we probably just Plague of Death here then. Because I don't want to leave up all these stats. That's really scary. I think we just probably Plague of Death and hope to hit the, uh, the dragons necessary to end this. But I'm worried that we're giving him that much initiative again. And since I don't have another Plague of Death, it is pretty risky. But, I mean, there's no other choice. I can't leave up 20. Could maybe go Breath of the Infinite Vargoth. But it still leaves up this guy, which is too much damage. I think we have to Plague of Death. And just set for the dragons. And hope that he doesn't have another good board, right? The like 4-4, four, four. oh man, he got another dragon portal before. Ah, oh my god, I can't actually, I can't beat that dragon right now. <laughs> I can't beat that dragon right now. Um, if he plays another threat, we've got some big concerns, some real big concerns. Uh, I need a dream portal into like three skeletal dragons. Yeah, that can't go off this turn. That's good news. I bring you Alex, his own face. Oh my God. Oh my God. Dream portal number one. Okay. Um... Are you joking? Is this real? game dude i'm still gonna lose is what's hilarious about it oh that's a really weak roll though it's a really weak roll three portals good oh 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 enough spell damage for like six years um, convincing is actually a little bit weaker than a card tut, I think, right now, in some ways. Um, Alex isn't any kind of lethal. This doesn't trade anyway. Um, okay. Does he have any weak minions to beat this convincing illustrator is the question, right? I don't, I, I don't suspect he does. Um, okay. Let's just play more dragons and um make sure we set up for a lethal next turn right i don't think we need to heal at 18 i think i think bodies against druid are way more important so just set up for lethal okay 
Casual seven spell damage, I know. If only we had a spell, eh? <laughs> if only there were a spell, eh? So he's just gonna lose the Hydra and trust that the eight drop here is sufficient. Um, we must stop this corruption. Uh, this deals three to that, but also it hits my dragons, so it would kill this. So I can trade this in, it's two, five. That leaves it at seven. Go eight and then four and five is nine thirteen. Yeah, so it looks like we have lethal. Oh, penance is definitely gonna help because it's a deal ten. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs>